In this video, I will show you how you can use Squarespace and how you can create a new website for your business. So let's dive into it. First, we need to click on get started. And here are some of the templates that you can choose from. So all the templates are from same family and there are no huge differences. On the top, you can see some filters so that you can see your desired templates. So I'm going to go with this one. It will take some time to set up the template. Here it will ask the name of your website. So I'm just going to type in sample. So this is your main dashboard where you can control all of your things. On the left panel, you can add pages, edit design, commerce, marketing, schedule post. You can see analysis and much more. First, let's go to pages. Here, if you want to create a new page, you just need to click on plus sign. And you will see a pop up and create a blank page. You can name the page as well. I'm going to name it social. And in the preview, you can see that a social page has been created in the header. In the same way, you can do much more in this page section. Again, click on plus sign. And here you can see you can add a blog, you can create a store, you can create a portfolio, you can add videos and much more. So Squarespace has got you covered in all aspects. Now let's get back to home and now click on design. Here you can change the design of your website, you can change the fonts of your website, you can choose from font family, here we have sans serif, serif and mixed. Choose your desired one and on the left you can see in the preview as well that the font has been changed. If you want to edit the font of a specific section for example headings then you need to click on heading and then you can change the line. You can see in the preview that it is changing life. You can change the spacing as well. And you can do it for all paragraphs, headings and buttons. So now let's change the colors of website. Here click on edit palette. And below you have some built in color palettes. I am going to go with this one. You can change the theme of your website as well. Now let's go back. Here you can see that you can change the animations as well. You have got 5 options to choose from. Here you can see in the preview that each animation has its own benefits. Now let's save changes. Hover your mouse to the top left and then click save. Now let's look at some advanced editing. For you to edit your website, click on edit on the top left. Here you can edit your website by just hovering your mouse to different sections and parts. You can move your things around, change the size. I'm going to scroll down. You can add a new section as well. So for example, I need to display my products. So I'm going to click on products. And here you can see some templates. You can choose any one you want. I'm going to go with this one. And a new section has been added to your website. You can change images as well by clicking on the pencil icon. And then click replace. I'm going to browse some stock images already present on Squarespace. I'm going to choose this one. It will take some time to upload the photo. And there you go. A new photo has been added. Now let's go to the footer section. You can edit your footer by clicking on edit footer. And then clicking on the edit section on the left. You can change the height of your footer. Change its background color. I am going to add an art background. So in the preview you can see that a background has been changed. 
in the exact way you can change the settings of your header as well. In the header section you can add your logo, you can change elements, you can add button as well to your header, you can name it, I'm gonna name it subscribe and in the preview you can see that the button has been added, you can add social links, you can increase the size of social links, you can add a card button as well if you have an e-commerce store. So now when I am done with editing, I am going to save changes. And now our changes have been saved. And on the top right, you can see the preview of your website as well. One of the benefit of Squarespace is that you can get a mobile view of your website from the let go. Here you can see the mobile version of our website. So I hope you found this video useful and you got some basic information about editing websites on Squarespace. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.